What does it cost us to do a long motorcycle trip like we just came off of? We're gonna discuss that with you right now. Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. And I'm Cake. Today we're gonna talk about our bikeation budget for 2021. Yes, we've been getting a lot of questions about how do you guys afford this? Can you guys afford this? And basically our answer is we really can't afford it. So we're gonna show you how we come up with our budget and what we spend compared to what our budget was. Right. Several things we're gonna cover is fuel, fuel, food, food, and lodging. Lodging. As well as miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Yes. So we're gonna jump into that right now and give you the numbers how we budget because our budget is normally different than anybody's we've seen before and it works for us right. so if you're getting something out of this let us know go down hit that thumbs up button and put some things in a comment section below so you go down and start off with the gas with the gas since we live in california and california is the most expensive gas in the u.s outside of alaska and hawaii so gas prices in California is like... Um, well, in June, it was topping $4. So right. we're going to stick with $4. Four, okay, four, $4 in June. So when we went on this trip, we, we did the Four Corners. You want to tell them we did it? Yeah, we've done the Four Corners of the United States, 20,000 plus miles, the lower 48, and I just had a blast. I mean, 120 days on the road and i reached a hundred thousand miles on my bike <laughs> so you have to tell them that tell them okay that. let's continue all right okay so we budget our our fuel prices on california gas prices so our tank on our wings we both ride separate gold wings our tanks is about six and a half gallons yes so we're gonna just go for mathematics stakes we're gonna go with Six gallons. Yeah, six gallons. Right. So we fill up six gallons, six gallons times times four dollars between the boat bikes. That's twenty four dollars to fill up one bike. So for both bike, it was forty eight dollars. Yes, it come out to forty dollars. Right. Oh, we need to mention in this scenario that we you're giving, even though we stayed on the road more than a hundred days, we're gonna talk about a fourteen day vacation, right. which is the average vacation that most of us take right. even though sometimes we just take a two-week vacation and then we're gonna let you know how much it costs us actually 120 days and how we what get to that us. and where we get that money from so like she said that's with 14 days 14 times 48 is 672 dollars <laughs> yeah we got we got that paper <laughs> it's hard doing it without a script although we don't never use a script anyway anyway so that's how we get our gas price. Now, mind you, we do this per day. We don't worry about how many miles per gallon we actually get on gas. We don't calculate mm -hmm. that. I mean, we can, but we don't. We do this per day because it just worked for us. We notice we get to a, a lot of places where we'll stay several days and we will never have to gas up for at least a week. So it just works right. out in the long run for us. And our gas mileage fluctuates anyway because of the, the miles per hour each state has. Like California, we have 65 miles to 70 miles an hour on the freeway. Some states have 80, 85 miles an hour yes. on the freeway. Plus, you was pulling patches. Yeah, I was pulling, pulling the trail, so my fuel economy went down, but it still worked out with us. We didn't, right. we didn't exceed out. that budget. No. So we're going to let you know as we go along whether we exceeded it or not. I actually didn't exceed any of our budget. No. But anyway, we're going to move on to the next one, which is food. And for us... We budget food based on three meals a day and the price that we would normally pay for a restaurant, eating at a restaurant when we're on a roll, restaurants like, uh, I, was, well, I call it Denny's style restaurants. Yeah. Like Denny's, IHOP's, uh, uh, Cracker Barrel, Cracker Barrel, Bob Evans, those style of right. restaurants that we eat. Of course, we eat fast food also and we eat at high price restaurants. So we're going to let you know how we afford to eat at those and high price restaurants mm -hmm. at the same time. And with those particular restaurants that I just that we just described, it normally ends up to about twenty five dollars 
per meal, which is $75 a day. So we have to budget $75 a day. And in this scenario, 14 days. So 75 times 14 come out $1,050 that we need for a 14 day trip. Like I said, we're going to cover the 100 day also. We just want to give you some idea of how we do this budget and we do it. Now, mind you, we don't eat three meals a day. No. Very seldom we would eat, we would eat three meals a day because we do a lot of camping, which we are going to cover in a lodging. And even when we don't, like we went in North Carolina, we stayed in a condo for an entire week. So we went out and purchased groceries. And I think that particular re week, it came out to around $75 for, yeah, for one day of purchase and for the entire week. So that means we only spend $75 which $75 per day that we use for meals, we only spent $75 once, and we had six days where we didn't have to spend no money on any food. So that extra money allows us the opportunity to say, okay, let's go out and eat at a nice restaurant. Like you guys so seen that, the main video where she paid $59 for a lobster. And it was good. And that's how we'll be able to afford that when it comes to food. So we don't want to spend that too that is good. the difference when eating out versus staying at a one spot for a week when you go to the store and you cook your meals in. About to get our breakfast on. About to whip some eggs up. So that helps us a lot on our food budget. Yes, and we do that when we camp a lot also. So the next thing is lodging. Right. Which for like most people, that's the most expensive part of the budget. It's the same with, same with us. And for our lodging, we actually brought our budget up this year. Uh, years ago, our budget was at eight, $80 for lodging, and right. it was at $20 for food. Right. The gas very seldom changed because we based it on whatever the price is on in California. California. But for the lodging, we went up to $100. I think we went to $120. 100 We went up to $100, and that's based on the type of motels that we would stay in. However, we base our lodging only, mm -hmm. only on motels and hotels only. We don't base it on friends and family, or we don't base it on camping at all. So the type of hotels we stay in, what we like to call the uh, the Motel 6 style hotels. It may not be Motel 6, but the Motel 6 style right. hotel. Motel 6, Super 8, a little off the wall one too. Oh, I like you those. You know, th those were the, the best Some of the ones. best ones because yeah. we, we get to those things without even booking. You know when you're riding around and you say, okay, we, it's time for us to get a hotel tonight. We'll just find an off the wall one and go stay there. And it's normally better than a chains. Right. So for the 14 day scenario that we are doing, we need $1,400 for that trip. Right. So add all that up in a 14 day, and I have it added right here. It come out to $3,122 for a 14 day vacation. And that's how we get it. Now, mind you, we budget, now imagine $100 mm -hmm. a day for 100 days, even though we stayed out 120 days, $100 a day for 100 days, that means we needed $10,000 to complete this trip. Now, did we have $10,000 to do it? No, we don't just go grab $10,000 because for us, that kind of trip was expensive, especially we didn't know how many days we were going to be out. So we didn't. We didn't plan for it to be 120 days. No. But it ended up being 120 days and it was fantastic and we was able to afford to be out and how we were able to do that when it came to lodging we did a lot of free camping yes so we boondocked a lot we well stayed... but, yeah i'm gonna let you finish but for those of you who don't camp this may not work right. and you just have to adjust your budget as see fit we love much of nature we love being outdoors and everything about waking up by lakes River stream being sometimes in the woods by ourselves. You guys seen our <laughs> camping location. If not, go back and check it out. We have reached our camping destination. And this is what we're gonna wake up to. So, so, it, it, like like Cake said, we'll stay free for a week somewhere, and now we have seven hundred dollars that we can roll over to the next week because we didn't do, use it on lodging. Right. This is how we're able to, to do this. And it works. I mean, if you give it a try, just do it on your next vacation. Just say, whatever your budget is, if you like camping or free stuff, try it. And then watch where you roll it over to the next week. You can stay out longer, obviously, if you have the time to stay out yeah, longer. Yeah, if you have the time, 
you could stay out longer. And other ways that we done it was when we book, we use all these reward programs that they have going right, on. Right, right, right. So that had us to stay at some of these hotels that we that we mentioned free. Free, 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 free. Free, 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 free. free. To little <laughs> or nothing on on the trip. You know, the different mm -hmm. rewards, Marriott rewards, all of that, all those points that we accumulated throughout the year, we were able to roll that over because of what's going on. So we were able to roll it over and save our reward points and use them on this trip here. One thing, so one thing I, I calculated, and it's, it's not on the paper, is mm -hmm. out of the 120 days, we only paid 30 days for hotel we only paid 30 days and they were not at a hundred dollars i think no those 30 days we paid at i think we maybe stayed at one hotel that was like two hundred dollars maybe the two hundred dollars but every other hotel we stayed in was like eighty dollars around the eighty dollar price so that right. gave us an extra twenty dollars that we actually saved that we would roll over to the next week and this is how we do it it just worked for us it's extremely easy and the last thing that, that let me go go back we even save on fuel prices too, getting our gas because those pilots, those loves, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, different yeah. places like that, they also have reward cards that we use and we save on, on those too. Yeah. With yeah. that. Oh, what I was going to say is the last thing is we stay by friends and family houses. Both of us grew up in New Orleans, and we went to the same high school, high school sweet us, been married for too gosh darn long now. <laughs> Way too long. And, and, uh, anyway. and our friends spread out. So we go visit our friends and family, let them know we're coming into town. They put us up for a night or two. And even some of you guys put us up for a couple of nights. And we really, even a lot of people say, hey, if I know you were coming through our town, I would have gave you a place to stay. This is another way that you can actually go right. out there and enjoy your vacation. And we, we, we stay there, and we really, really appreciate each and every one of you that open your homes and your hearts up yes. to us to yeah. stay at your houses. And those that offered and that question came up about, do you have cats or a cat? <laughs> and the answer was yes, and my answer was no, it's because I can't do cats. Yeah, that was But a, I really appreciate it. Though. There was a lot of people that either we stayed by the house or offered. And we, we probably do a thank you video because we don't, want, we don't want to just go up the top of our heads and leave nobody right. out. For all of you who've done that, we really appreciate it. And it's going to tell you this. We're going to be honest with you. We will pay that forward. We will give you the same treatment in return if you come to Northern California and you need a place to stay. We have a full house now, but we have room so you can actually stay in our house. You need a night or two to stay. We would love for you guys to come over and hang out with us and ride with you and show you some of these beautiful, wonderful California roads that we have out here. You know what to do. Look, Look us, us up. up. <laughs> well, I'm ready for that one. <laughs> Yeah. Now, so let, now on to the, the miscellaneous. Okay. You know, I had a question came up to me that asked me what about oil changes and maintenance on the bike while we're out on the road. Well, the one thing that we will not ever do again is pull into um, oh, a dealer. dealer. Yeah. We went to a dealer to have the, the wings oil change. Yeah, that we not will come. never do that again. I had to get a, a tire change. I had scheduled that the tire change. Then I said, okay, well, we might as well go ahead on and let them do the oil, do the oil too. No, I, I'd rather look up somebody that can, hey, let me use the garage for a minute or pull out in the park well, and change my own oil that uh, way. Memphis Mike offers that, remember? Yeah. He said, you could yeah. do the oil change, you could do this, you could do it. And a lot of people let us do the laundry at the house. I mean, it was fun. Well, we weren't able to keep Excellent the bikes trip. going that long without changing the oil because we yes. was already, we was due for the oil yeah. change. So, and, and, and this is what we do. So let me get to the numbers of what it would have cost. And I'm just going to go to 100 days and not 120 days. What it would have cost if, if we would have followed that budget, that budget that we use, the strict budget that we use and not rolled it over. And if you guys wouldn't have helped us out with lodging and stuff We're like that. We're lodging and looking some of them it, even bought us a meal. So Right. Yeah. And looking at it right now, I'm looking at the budget where 4800 7500 and Ten thousand dollars. It would have came out for us twenty-two thousand and three hundred dollars for just a hundred days on the road, the way we budget. Now, right. granted, it didn't cost that. We always over budget everything. So when we talking about a uh, hundred dollars a night, 
that's fine with us for our lodging because we know we're not going to stay in motels every single night. We know mm -hmm. this, but we just do that for safety reasons, just in case we're riding out and haven't booked a campground and we say, okay, let's go stay at that room over there. And if it's under hundred dollars, we, we know we have a place to stay for safe. the night. Right. So that works out fine for us. Now, you know, you got anything else? Cause I'm about to go to the final, what we actually spend. Right. Compared no, I don't, to anything else. No. Compared to, $22,000 or even $10,000. I mean, we could have done that trip at, at $10,000. And there's no way we had $22,000. If we knew who was going to use that buddy, there's no way we wouldn't have went out to begin with. Because the only thing rich about us is the first four letters is my name. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so don't get me wrong. We believe in living life as it meant to be lived. Just that right. simple. And, and we would like to, uh, we'd like to inspire and motivate you to go out there and do it. Because one of the things we say, we say to people this all the time, and I put it on a couple people section where they was talking about going out and motivation, is this. Life is a game meant to be played. And on, in the game of life, we starters. We don't sit on the bench. So we're telling you, go out there and play the game. You don't even have to ask the and coach. And have fun doing it. Yeah, you don't have to ask the coach. Can yeah. I get in the game? No, get out there and do it. So now, with that said, we did not spend our, actually didn't even have $22,300. We did not have that. We did not spend that. Matter of fact, we went on the road with less, I'm telling you, less than $5,000. And we spent around $5,500 for right. 120 days. That was phenomenal for us. Now, we don't know what we're going to do next year. We're going to probably reschedule our budget or maybe do the exact same thing because it was phenomenal. Well, since we didn't spend our entire budget on this trip, it rolls over. And it right. goes into our vacation account. Right. That's another thing so, we do. And that, for us, that works out extremely well. Right. And that takes a lot of discipline because we know we have that money sitting there for next year. And if something come up, we say we want to go to a concert, we want to go to a movie. We tempted to go there and dip in that, but we choose not to because we love every single thing about motorcycle. And we absolutely adore and love being on the road. Exactly. Love it. Love oh, okay. it. Okay. The, the last thing, I know the last thing, this is a, another way you can save tons and tons of money if you ride with somebody else right if you ride with another group another couple and you guys split things especially camping and split things like that anyway so that's all we have i hope that answered your question about what it cost and how we budget those people who actually ask us those yeah. questions and we really appreciate it and it gave us a reason to sit down and let you guys know how we do it so don't forget to put some comments in the comment section of how you're doing or how you like this video and give us a thumbs up share with people who thinking about going out there and doing a long vacation what happened what happened tell me my eye again <laughs> anyway <laughs> if you're out riding remember ride long ride hard ride strong and most importantly ride safe for boots and jeans riders i'm rich i'm kate and we out Peace.